What's going on over there? This rabbit is, we think, between nine and 10 years old. You've had her for eight years. Is that delicious? Is that so good? This is the best thing ever. These two little monsters, these little demons, chaos machines over here. Please, please, we need to come out. Please, please, let us out. Let us out. Even though they're out all the time. We just need more. Yeah. Hey, dude. What's so interesting, though, about the Barbie is that if we show, for, for a lot of the main Barbies that we that we pause on to talk about. It's really cool that there was a toy Barbie you could buy. It's very, it's so unique. Barbie's only made one appearance at theme parks at Epcot early on. Barbie exists and you're watching her do something. Noise is off, like behind the scenes. Oh. Like, you're the, hey kids, you wanna know how I got these scars? Hey kids, you wanna know how I got these scars? Dirty free charge boy, activation. Ah, uh, Baltimore. The many sounds and smells. If you could only smell the water, the pollution of the beautiful water. It's not good, is what I'm saying. We meet again, old friends. Come on, coming through. My wife is running a race today. She's clearly the more health conscious and responsible one in this relationship. I am so excited to be here, y'all. My name is Jill Blankenberg. I'm your MC for this morning's festivities. So. You see, Baltimore isn't all that bad. I mean, yes, there is an actual dead rat right behind me, but it does have this pretty mural. And then, you know, there's also like a race happening over there. I don't want to show you the dead rat. We'll just, you could picture it. It's, it's, I mean, it's a dead rat. See, we got the crabs, we got the bird, 
and the baseball. Yeah, lacrosse and corn. I didn't know that was a thing. Horses, yep. Race a lot of ra race a lot of horses around here. I'm back in the car. It's too hot out. I'm tired. I'm so out of shape. That's a nice view. Look at that. I forgot to tell you, I tried the passion fruit, the Baja Blast. Not for me. Kind of had a grape taste to it, and I'm not a big grape drink fan. And while we're talking about the ranking of the Mountain Dews, I don't like Code Red either. You know what? Code Red, that's an F tier. Yep, that's the bottom of the tiers. Baja Blast, passion fruit. D. I think the race is over. Also, why is this Ford F-150 parked next to an electrical charging station? How dare you? I'm not even gonna give Code Red the dignity of me drinking it again and then ranking it again for this epic Mountain Dew tier list. I've already tasted it. I'm not drinking it again. Don't make me drink it. You guys can't tell me what to do. Something about Code Red is just too, it's too like sugary, it's too sharp, fruit punchy. I don't do that, I don't, no, I don't do that. Okay, I'm not five years old, I don't need fruit punch. I'm a grown man, I need Mountain Dew. Preferably green or blue, That's those are the color spectrums I like. Once you start getting into like orange, red, and purple, that's where it goes south for me. I don't want to ruin this pretty day by talking about Code Red anymore. We're done. Look at this turd right now. This big old Ford F-150 turd. See, look, other, other cars can park here. There's a 30 minute park limit. He has been here for more than 30 minutes. All right, I'm snitching on him hard right now. You're getting snitched on. And I'm going to put it on YouTube. You are in trouble, Mr. F-150. Shame him. Public shame him right now. Shame. 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 You got a rose? Oh, that's very yellow. That's a, that's a D tier. That's not good. All right, this is starting to grow on me a little bit. I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna move it up from a D tier to a C tier. It's solid. I used to work at this movie theater. It sucked. things here.
I can't believe I'm doing this again. These people at 7 Eleven probably think I'm insane. Stupid code red, making me drink this soda again. Alright, take two. Come on, come on. Ugh. I thought about it long and hard. I couldn't not complete the challenge. I needed to face my demons head on and drink the code red and properly rate it for this tier list. Thanks. Thanks. It's not your fault. It's my fault. I should have never gone down this path of Mountain Dew tasting. Code red's going to ruin another day. It ruined yesterday. Now it's going to ruin today. With a rush of cherry flavor. Listen, listen, listen. Cherry, overrated fruit, overrated flavor. You heard it here first. Mountain Dew, cherry, no. Keep my Mountain Dew classy. Mountain Dew is a classy drink, okay? Green, blue, classy, red, red. Oh, it's just, mm. God, I'm so mad right now. Oh, it's F tier. It's about as F as it can tier right now. Where's the F tier? This, and this is the, put it at the end of the F tier. It's so far, it's like over here. That's where it is. Such a stupid flavor. Code red. Code sucks. Is this a good thumbnail? So back in the day when I worked at the movie theater, I worked as a, I worked as a projectionist and I goofed up real bad. I'm talking real bad, all right? This is back when we had film and you had to load it through the actual projectors. And at the very, well, the second, almost second to last step of the process, I accidentally put the film over this one sprocket instead of like kind of through it. It was so subtle that no one could figure out what I did wrong because there's other people checking me to make sure I did it right. Multiple people checked my work and like, yeah, it, it's all there. Somehow, that scratched all the prints of film. So there's these big green and scratch lines throughout the entire movies. And I ruined such classic films as Role Models with Paul Rudd and other people, uh, The Quantum of Solace, the second Daniel Craig, James Bond movie. And I think a Punisher Warzone movie the scratches probably improved that film. That film was pretty terrible. When I did that, my film school asked for my degree back and I literally had to mail it back to them. It's all true story, except for the mailing back my scholarship. I didn't mail that, I still have that. But I scratched all those films so, so good. I soon uh, left that job after that incident. Now everything's on a hard drive. So literally you load the hard drive into the projector, it's all digital, and there it is, there's Margot Robbie as Barbie. You're like, oh yeah, there she is. <sighs> Poison.